Hi guys, it's Gabe from the Perseus Octave with a lesson on 7th arpeggios. For those of you who are wondering, I'm running through Axe Effects directly into the computer through these KRK Rocket 6s. Our first chord is C major 7. This is our 1 chord. So, from the 3rd fret, we're going to play, because this is our C note, we're going to play 3, 7, 5 on the 4th string, 3 on the 3rd string, uh, sorry, 4 on the 3rd string, 5 on the 3rd string, 5 on the 2nd string, 3 on the 1st string, 7 Next chord is D minor 7. Now, we're going to start on the 5th string, 5th fret. 5, 8, 7 on the 4th string, 5 on the 3rd string, 7 on the 3rd string, 6 on the 2nd string, 5 on the 1st string, 8 on the 1st string, and 10 on the 1st string, being the octave. Notes being D, F, A, C, D, F, A, C, D. Our next chord is going to be E minor 7. So, we're starting on the 7th fret. It's the exact same position as the one before. So once you got that position, all you have to do is move it up 2 frets. So, 5, 6, 7, E minor 7. Which is E, or sorry, 7, 10 on the 5th string, 9 on the 4th, 5, sorry, 7 on the 3rd, 9 on the 3rd, 8 on the 2nd, then 7 on the 1st, 10 on the 1st, then 12 for the octave. Which is E, G, B, D, E, G, B, D, E, being the octave. So, our fourth chord being F major, 7. So, this position is exactly the same as our first position, which was C major 7. So when we had this, all we have to do is move it up to the 8th fret. Being F, A, C, E, F, A, C, E, F for the octave. So, our 5 chord is G7. This is our dominant 7th chord, the 5 chord of the key which is a little bit different than the major 7 position because it has a flat 7 instead of a major 7. So it looks like this. 10th fret of the 5th string, 10, 14, 12, and this is where it changes a little bit. It's going to be 10 on the 3rd string, then 12, then 12 on the 2nd string, then 10 on the 1st string, then 13, which is our flat 7, on the um, first string, and then 15 for the octave. Right? Which, the notes being G, B, D, F, G, B, D, F, G. And the reason why I call that a flat 7 is because in the key of G, we have an F sharp not an F natural. So that G7, that 7th note of the G, to be a major 7, we need the major 7. So from G to F sharp is a major 7, but G to F is a flat 7, or a minor 7th. Our next chord is A minor, A minor 7. 
So all the way up to the 12th fret. Here we go. Now this position is exactly, again, the same as D minor and E minor 7. The exact same position. So we have... Oh, no. They're both exactly the same. All you do is move it up to the 12th fret. 12, 15, 14 on the 4th string. Then we have 12 on the 3rd string. 14 on the 3rd string. 13 on the 2nd. 12 on the 1st. 15 on the 1st. And 17 for the octave. Being A, C, E, G, A, C, E, G, A. Our last chord is B half diminished, or B minor 7 flat 5, whatever you want to call it. Being right up here. Which is the 14th fret. This one's pretty cool. So, it's going to be 14, 17, 15 on the 4th string, then 14 on the 3rd string, then 16 on the 3rd string, then 15 on the 2nd string, 13 on the 1st string, then 17 on the 1st string, then 19 to hit the octave. Being B, D, F, A, B, D, F, A, B. And then you can finish off with C major 7. An octave up on the 13th, or sorry, 15th fret. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Uh, watch any of my other cover videos if you're interested, and I will take any requests on any lessons. Thank you very much.